Marina surfers are exercising more caution after 27-year-old Eric Tarantino came face to face with a great white. So to see if we could track the ocean's top predator, we teamed up with helicopter pilots and shark experts. Yesterday was by far uh, the most active day as far as the whales in the, in the wild. Uh, we have a red tide going on right now, which attracts a lot of wildlife. Everything from bottlenose dolphins to humpback whales and especially great white sharks. Experts are calling the central coast an oceanic Serengeti. October is uh, regarded as Sharktober. And then that persists right through January, uh, the peak of the elephant seal landings. And then uh, February begins to taper off, and by March, most of the sharks are moving well offshore into the deep sea. Experts say the red tide and abundance of wildlife up and down the coast is a likely reason Tarantino was attacked. You can clearly see the red tide from the shots we took while accompanying shark experts in a helicopter. They say the rusty colored ocean spots are evidence something big is lurking underneath. We're traveling at an altitude of about a thousand feet and pilots tell us this is the perfect vantage point to see marine life. We caught several shots of humpback whales on camera. You can see them breaching, looking for food amidst a wealth of anxious onlookers. But through all the excitement, shark experts say more marine life means more chance encounters with sharks, especially the great white. And while Tarantino was lucky and is recovering from his wounds, experts say you never know when Mother Nature may strike again. In Santa Cruz, Jacqueline Mazur, KSBW, Action News 8.